Welcome to Metal Gods TV with Mick the Beard. Hi, with Mick the Beard, I'm at Bloodstock and I am with the mighty legendary Pig Iron. That's hey, fantastic, that's yeah. Impressive, man. Thanks, yeah. Thank you very much. Here we go. I don't, do that, I, don't think, I don't think any more needs to be said. See you later. <laughs> Uh, I think I saw you guys at was it Hard Rock Hell or Hammerfest one of the two? Hard Rock Hell. Hard Rock Hell. We've never played Hammerfest, but uh, you know, never say never. Yeah. Book us, we will come. <laughs> <laughs> and then play the gig. And then play the gig. <laughs> and obviously you've had a new addition since then. Yes. Dan. Dan Edwards from Sons of Merrick. Hello. Hello. It's nice to be here. <laughs> it is. He's jaded it's already. Nice he's <laughs> three <laughs> gigs in a row and he's... No, he's oh. telling the truth. It is actually know. nice to be yeah, here. It's nice to be here with uh, amongst amongst friends to uh, yeah. play some music, albeit acoustically. Yes. Yeah. Uh, acoustic at a metal festival seems kind of weird and, you know, like playing a little dinky harmonica also seems kind of weird at a metal festival, but, you know, we'll give it a try. See how it goes down. You should go be a huge metal harmonica this size. Yeah. Instead, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's got to be black with like skulls painted on it and stuff. Some spikes. So, you know, yeah. yeah. But uh, we have, you know, doing a little acoustic set on the Jägermeister stage and, you know, don't, not sure how it's going to go down, but it seems to be kind of like almost like a welcome relief in between the kind of changeover on the main stage. So a little bit of light relief. Amongst all the, I think the biggest, the biggest news though is I quit the band on Friday night. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> but, but luckily, the, yeah, anything, what are you still doing here? Get out. I, I didn't sign anything apparently, so it's, uh, it, it can't stand. Yeah, no, he was in a in a bad way on Friday night. We played at the Bulldog Bash. That was good. And uh, yeah, he was in a bad way, <laughs> and he was like, "Guys, I've got to tell you something. I don't think I can do this anymore." <laughs> So uh, he shouldn't really be here. Right emotional. It was that, did he mean he can't do the band anymore? Just he can't do the getting wasted anymore? In my defence, sure. it could have both. Dan is actually younger now than I was when the band started. So you do the maths on that. But and I'm very, very old. <laughs> Yeah, I was 52 when the band started. And, uh... We were talking about the uh, the naughty step trick that Joe Frost uses earlier on, and we were saying, you know, that's one minute for every year of, of their age. So he would be on the naughty step for like, you know, a few years. I think. <laughs> yeah, but if, if Joe Frost is going to come and clean me up afterwards, I'm quite happy to poo my pants, make a dirty protest. You know, as long as she can discipline me. Right, that's regularly. another timeout. Yeah. But, um, yeah. <laughs> anyway, man, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. The last time I saw you, you were, I think you were kissing me as well. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps there was a few beers. In yeah, a few uh, beers involved at Hard Rock Hell. Uh, I think we changed our name to Pink Iron. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> or a bunch of irons. And, uh, <laughs> very good. Yeah, hey. Very good. Yeah, very good. <laughs> so, uh, have you got another album in the offing yet? Yeah, it's going to be called Pig Iron 4. It's original, eh? It's original. Yeah. But you know, yeah, we've, we've got five tracks already recorded and mixed, brand new tracks. All done. We might add a little bit of piano here and there, but, um, you know. So it's kind of more in the old vein, of, you know, not, not quite as heavy. A lot, a lot more harmonica, a bit more bluesy. Well, a lot more bluesy, really, but, you know. Yeah, you know, Dan's kind of style is a lot more sort of uh, classic than the, than the last album. So, you know, it's getting back to the kind of the roots, I guess. It's also nice to play new songs. I mean, we've been playing a lot of the new stuff recently and it's going down really well. So at, at uh, Bulldog Bash on Friday night, people are saying how much they like the new material. So that's nice to know. So, uh, but yeah, so it's half recorded basically. So we just got to get the, you know, a few more tracks, and then we got a, an album. So, and it kind of came together quite organically as well, didn't it? From the first time we sort of got in a room together, because I've, because we, well, we've known each other for ages, you know, and, and played many gigs and set like with my with Sons of America and Pig Iron. So I've heard the song so many times. I know the guys that's well. Right, Pop your own bands. Yeah, well, yeah, that's it, man. I'm not, I'm not wearing the t-shirt though. Band on my watch. Why don't you? <laughs> so it's just nice, man. Like getting in a room together and playing. It, it was was all very organic and. It, and it just yeah. flowed from day one, really. So it's it's a pleasure to be in the band. Well, I've been asked to ask about your meeting with Rip Parfit, mate. 
<laughs> yeah, man, it, do you know what, if I'm, if I'm absolutely honest, you know, like, when you're playing a gig, like, I've been a massive Quo fan for years, like, you know, from my dad, you, from the age of, like, one, two, I'd pile driver and dog a two head, like, I, like, played and played to me, and, and having, you know, one of, the, one of your heroes watch you from the side of the stage when you're playing, like, just look to the, look to the side and, and Rick Parfit standing there watching you, it was, uh, Oh, it's, it's, it's brilliant. No, yeah, then, then, Albeit that he was wearing um, some comedy false teeth, which was a bit odd. Yeah, he was yeah. wearing the whole day, up until the time when he had to go on stage, he was wearing a hoodie with a little window for his face and some comedy false teeth. That's and he was standing at the side of the stage watching us with these weird false teeth. He couldn't fool me. I, kn I knew who he is. <laughs> and it was, uh, yeah, it was great, man. Just one of the, yeah, one of the, well, a moment. You were off getting a sandwich when he came to our dressing room to tell us how great we were. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes, I was feeding my face with a with a hog roast. So uh, yeah, I missed I missed that. But luckily, he being the very nice man that he is, uh, introduced me later, and I got to shake hands. And he uh, yeah, it was very Dan nice. Dan was actually stalking Quo. <laughs> he, he was seen outside their trailer and looking through the window, going, <laughs> "Can I have a black drum?" <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's true. And there's Rick Parfit in the in the trailer, going, "No, you can't." <laughs> It was very odd, but it was good, you know it was great to be on the same bill as them. Amazing, you know, and it's great to be here at Bloodstock as well. So you know. And what does Lemmy think to the cover that you've done to their record? I don't know if he's heard it, man, but you know I hope he has. Uh, you know, he's he's threatened apparently to come to a few of our gigs because when we played at the Borderline, the uh, the Stringfellows branch is very you know within stumbling distance of the Borderline. So apparently he was going to come that night, but he never showed up. So I don't know. I mean, you know we. We've been in a few magazines and stuff, and we like to think that a few of these guys maybe have heard, like the Led Zeppelin cover we did, maybe they've heard that, I don't know, but uh, I'd like to, like to meet him one day and ask him. Yeah. Maybe today, who knows? <laughs> yeah, if you, if you can get any sense out of him. Yeah, yeah. He doesn't seem to say very much, really. He's quite quiet, isn't he? He's meant a few words. Yeah. Well, what he does say makes a point. What about Lemmy? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, but there's... Stick great with it, Hugh, mate. Yeah, Stick come with on. Yeah. Was, was... It's a great lineup today. It's, everybody's saying it's like the best day, best lineup, so we're, we're pleased to be here. And finally, have you got a word, or a few words, to them lot? For what? <laughs> the people, they're watching. People. Oh, I think Dan. Oh, Joe. Dan, Joe, 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 Joe. Joe. Yeah, good. Um, uh, a few, a few words. words. Um, Buy our records. Buy our records and uh, come Ellen. and see us live. That's a word. Yeah. Ellen. <laughs> and what else? Um, Egg and a bat. Egg and a bat. That's yeah. a good one. Um, no, 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 but uh, if any, if anybody is watching this, I hope you are. And uh, yeah, but uh, keep rocking, as Ben says. You know, and uh, take it easy. And yeah, ch check out the new album when it comes out. Be out before Christmas. There you go, Christmas present. And Dio is watching all of you. Yeah. From yeah. above. All of us. All of us. And Rick, and Rick Parfit, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Thank Thanks you very much. Cheers, man. Cool. May God have mercy on your soul.